Hi, welcome to online digital marketing training. In this video, I'm explaining about the best hosting for e-commerce website. So you might wonder what kind of hosting you have to take uh, if I'm running a online store. So this video is for you. Uh, yeah, okay. See guys, uh, I'm running many websites. Even I have a clients also. So this is one client and um, this is another US and Australian clients, both of them. I will tell you what kind of hosting these people are using and how they're performing and which one is better to make it much better. Of course, uh, be before you choose a plan, you might have a number of questions like pricing, speed, many things. But I'll tell you what is best for you which one you should opt okay okay so these two are the websites okay so before you go for a hosting uh, there are many things you should consider uh, the first is the speed how fast a website is loading second is security so if you're running an e-commerce website, if it is not HTTPS secured, nobody will purchase a product from you. So definitely HTTPS should be there. Next the pricing, obviously um, I look for the cheaper one, but I have uh, my own point will tell you. Fourth is support. Definitely you're taking a hosting, you need a support guys because so many problems you face maybe updating the php what it might be cdn then uh, there should be a chat process or else there is should be a dedicated uh, number you should talk to them i bet you many things you will learn from the customer support only so choose the hosting which have a dedicated customer support team so these are enough anyway uh I never used uh, many hostings uh, as of now for most of my website I'm using GoDaddy only but when I research online uh, through the world people are preferring SiteGround also Go GoDaddy is a US based uh, provider SiteGround is from Europe I think Bulgaria but there are very good reviews but I never used it just now I, uh, I did a chat with the guy that was very good and uh, in this week I'm going to try SiteGround also I'll make a separate uh, review on the site ground. So as of now, I'm, I'm going for the GoDaddy. But my point is whether you go for GoDaddy at site ground, uh, what kind of plan you choose, that is very important. So uh, basic plan will be there, ultimate plan will be there, deluxe plan will be there. If you go for a basic plan, any of the hosting, not only this GoDaddy, site ground, hostinger, hostgator, many are there. If you go for the basic plan, definitely uh, you have to compromise few things. You are going for an e-commerce website for yourself or for your client means you are going to earn more money. So don't compromise for the price. Don't look for cheap, low cost. Some people are trying for free hosting also. What do you do with the free hosting man? Nothing will. Uh, I researched on free hosting also. What they're doing is you can upload 10 products only. Will you sell only 10 products? It's not good anyway. So going for the bigger one, you should spend more money. Yes, what I experienced with the GoDaddy is it's a bit expensive, but no problem. They have a dedicated support and all these things. So let me explain yeah, about I, I, GoDaddy. One, one question from my side. Yes. Uh, how to check the speed? Yeah, I'm going to show you that also. Once let me explain this, then I will show the site speed also. Okay. okay. Yeah. No, so speed means it is the site speed or the hosting speed? Uh, see. Site speed is depend on the hosting because all your data okay. is stored on the uh, the servers only. Again, here one more point I'm telling you. Uh, here, hosting means when you go for any uh, provider, you thought that only my data stored on the server, but majority it will be shared hosting. What is the difference between a shared hosting and dedicated hosting? Shared hosting means your website will be, your website data will be stored in the same way, B, C, D. 
assume that you have very less visitors uh, like uh, on an average uh, 100 people are coming to your website assume that b that guy is getting around 15000 visitors per day so these two will be counted on that server because this guy have more visitors on the server you also have to take the risk sometimes your website will be down i don't recommend shared hosting for e-commerce website if you have a normal website service oriented no problem shared hosting is okay but you should have a dedicated hosting okay first i'll tell you the basic one so once you go to godaddy click on the hosting okay see here website hosting wordpress servers uh, wordpress hosting means dedicatedly only for wordpress web hosting it means apart from wordpress zoomla drupal there are n number of things you can host so uh, for e-commerce i don't recommend this come back here website hosting again here also linux windows business hosting is there uh, prefer go for a linux hosting again here two things i'm going to compare one is the Linux hosting, one is the web hosting. I recommend business hosting. But before that, let me go to the Linux hosting. Linux hosting is very, very good for any service oriented website. My ODMT website, uh, I took this Linux hosting only. Again, here also, there are different plans. Yes, you know, 99 per month, 199, 299, and 449. If you are in US and UK, it will be in the dollars, like $2, $3. See this. What are they giving? 256 MB RAM and uh, one website only you can host. I recommend when you go for a web hosting, you should go for a unlimited website. You take a hosting one time, then you don't have to do for every domain. Multiple domains you should host here. So that's why a deluxe or ultimate is a good option. But advantage over deluxe to ultimate is they are giving a, a SSL certificate free, I think. Yes. Free SSL certificate. If you're going for any service oriented website, I recommend go for a Linux hosting with the ultimate option. So 449 per month. And if you take uh, tax and everything, it will go up to 8,000 rupees. What you're getting? Unlimited website, unlimited storage. They say unlimited, but there is some uh, number, some 2 lakhs, 50,000 files will be there. But that's quite enough. You can happily host around 20 websites. And if it is more, you can upgrade. Some plans will be there. But unfortunately, this is the shared hosting. It looked like good one, but this still, this is the shared hosting only. So I encountered the same problem here. So when we're running the this website, I'm running a shopping ad. We're spending $50 a day. Customer clicked on the ad, but when he clicked on, He's not coming to the website. Some error is coming. Server error, find it error. It means what? We're spending money on the ads and customers should come here and purchase. But because of my bad hosting plan, I'm not getting a sales. Now client don't know all these things. He'll be asking you what about the sales? So that's why don't go for the shared hosting if it is an e-commerce website. So here, go for a business hosting. The difference, yes, if it is around 10,000, it will be going up to 16,000. But this is, you're investing only one time per year. You want to make 1 lakh rupee, or 5 lakhs rupees with the e-commerce website, definitely you have to spend on the hosting. This is the minimum requirement. You should do it. So don't try for any negotiations. Uh, if you call a support team, there is a possibility they'll give you some discount. Some promo codes will be there, but it's less only. So this is the business hosting. In the business hosting, you can see here, virtual private server will be there for you. So other website uh, traffic will not uh, show impact on your apps. This is your own traffic. So previously this order beauty supply, we used to have a shared hosting. After I upgrade to the business hosting, speed have been increased. And I never found error like uh, the website error. Website is not coming. There is no error such. I guess good. And uh, I'm showing the plan actually. Yes, it is expensive. But if you have a really strong goal of achieving more uh, 
sales to your e-commerce website yes obviously here also launch enhance grow expand there are many plans are there read them 60 gb storage 2 gb ram unlimited traffic unlimited website good thing is free unlimited ssl for all your website if you host 20 website ssl certificate is okay i recommend to go for the this one only this is not basic this is the great one and uh, uh, almost a uh, website which having around uh, 5000 to 10000 traffic a day also can go for this you don't need the big one amazon or these kind of things will go for the big one but this is enough okay right so go for this one add to cart Uh, let's see the final price so by default they'll be adding for 36 months cut down to 12 months and see and yes you will be getting a professional email like if your website is uh, shopusa.com then uh, you can get like info at shopusa.com contact at that professional email that you'll be getting okay this has already added i'm removing this so business hosting and after adding everything yes it is coming like this. this is really expensive but you have a strong goal you are selling a good product you confident that you're gonna make good money yes you should spend this much of amount if you compromise that uh, of this price there is a possibility a lot of compromise on your sales also okay right and uh, yes before you're buying this much chat with that uh, customer support team call them and ask them if they have any promo code maybe 1000 to 2000 uh, you will be safe this is about the hosting godaddy hosting and yes i've seen uh, some other reviews also people taking side ground also but almost the price is same the service and price is same uh, but i never tried this once i tried then only I want to make a video on this so as of now people who are watching my video i recommend you to go for godaddy next <clears throat> so speed is good with the business hosting yes 100 percent security yes price is expensive but if you have a strong goal go for this support 100 percent they are very good whatever the problem you have they will be solving it's your responsibility i'm telling you how the customer support people will be there definitely they want to reduce their work okay but before you buying only prepare your questions what are the questions you want to ask because the every call will be recorded he can't skip your questions so it's your responsibility how smartly get answers from them i'll tell you one, one of my experience so one guy from godaddy i contacted him uh, he suggested me to go for business hosting so go for business hosting definitely your speed will be good I said but i asked the question once i take a business hosting if i have any problem i will contact you he said yes sir i'll be ready but once i upgraded immediately i had some issue but he was not coming back to me he gave a dedicated email also but he was not coming back to me but again i contacted another customer support so you have to be smart take assurance from them take their email id phone number and contact them but i have a very good experience with the good id no issues as of now okay now you might have heard of shopify whether i can go for this uh godaddy or whether i can go for a shopify shopify is a separate platform guys i'll tell you the difference between godaddy and shopify godaddy is a service provider who will be selling domains and hosting but he is not selling the application like uh, creating a WooCommerce and all these things. Whereas in GoDaddy, you can download WooCommerce or you can use the website. But whereas Shopify, these people mainly the application developers. Apart from that, they are giving you hosting plan also. The main advantage with the Shopify is it's a very speed and it's very easy to access. And uh, by default, SSL certificate will be there and speed no compromise automatically give the only thing is it's huge it's very expensive 
if you think that uh, your sales are great then only go for a shopify so how to buy the hosting from shopify how to make that i'm going to make a separate videos on that one but i'm telling you if you want to reduce your work you have a client client is ready to pay amount then blindly go for shopify seo it's very easy google ads automated things will be there social media ads also automatic will be there so this is good but if you want to save some bucks come back to godaddy and uh, wordpress where you should have a more knowledge on the plugins and all the stuff okay so as of now for the next two weeks we're going to cover uh, how to do with the wordpress and woocommerce shopify later i'll be explaining so that is the difference between uh, the wordpress and shopify as i said it depends on the plan you choose even if you go for a <clears throat> linux hosting if you go for a low plan plan uh, speed will be less go with the higher plan right as venkat asked the question how to check the speed so there are uh, many website to check the speed so the best one is gt metrics so i'm i'm telling you before you purchase a e-commerce website these things but when it comes to order beauty supply they already took up hosting and they already designed the website now it's my responsibility fix the errors the developer who designed this website he added a uh, high definition images the hosting was basic so the site speed was very less now i'm still working on to improve this i'm telling you before you take uh, before you create a website only you have to take lot of precautions so go for business hosting if it is the godaddy so automatically speed will be there there will be no server down time then when you creating a website don't use too many plugins and when it comes to images don't upload high definition images there are some tools which i'm going to explain uh, compress that file and upload it then you don't have to fix the errors later so before you building the website only take care of all these things so that later it will be very easy for you but whereas this it was not easy for me so both of these websites the developers uh, when they creating a website they keep in mind that uh, the website should be great but whereas a digital marketer thinks that apart from the good looking it has to be a load faster and user experience level should be good i need more sales okay so let me check the speed of this website the gt metrics and good thing about the gt metrics is apart from the speed it will tell you what are the errors and how to fix them this is how you will improve the knowledge on the hosting servers image optimization and all earlier before i upgrade to business hosting uh, the speed was something near to 30 40 but now it is really good still we working on it uh now see here page speed score is 78% slow score is 70% this is good anything more than 70 you're doing good actually fully load time is 18 seconds so people have a patience of 5 seconds only then still the same here why it is taking much because here we added many products it doesn't mean that complete website is taking time when you keep on scroll loading to load all these images it's taking that much of time let me take one product because customer will come to uh through our shopping ads he will come to individual product like this so let me check the speed of this a new tab will do it before upgrade to the business hosting even the home page was more than 35 seconds Now let me check the individual product page. This is where actually a person will come. So 
so directly the particular url i'm going to show you so here the errors it's showing defer parsing of javascript again if you click on the drop down you will see what's happening because of some plugins lot of javascript code is uh, inserted on your website it's it's loading every time that is also making your website to load slow so that's why i recommend to use very less plugins browser catching uh, previously there was lot of issue now see it's not in the red uh, for this i used one plugin i'm going to show what is the plugin now see here this is came down to 11 seconds it was 18 seconds for full load time it is 11 seconds but it was 5 seconds only uh, but what i've done okay because as a digital marketer i should think all these things also before it the developer has designed in such a way that this product and uh, this information add to cart that's it there are no related products in all these things what I'm, what i was thinking is customer who want to buy this there is a possibility if you see more products he might buy more that's the reason i added 20 more products of course to load all these things again it's taking time but actually it should not take that much of time the problem why it is taking much time because these are all the high definition images these are not compressed and uploaded so again i have to go for every product and uh, compress it upload then this will come to 5 to 6 seconds uh, when i see some reviews people say that website should load in 2 to 3 seconds that is impossible not at all possible definitely uh, my experience is less than 10 seconds is a good speed so don't expect 2 to 3 seconds you can't if you have a client if you know something about the speed he might be asking i need a speed of 2 to 3 seconds you can't do it no so you want a great website at the same time speed 2 to 3 seconds not possible but less than 10 seconds okay it doesn't mean that customer have to wait 10 seconds to see the website no uh, he will see whatever the window is there he will see but when he is scrolling slowly the other things will be lo uh, loaded anyway sometimes the image might be blur like this see but there are some plugins again uh, like lazy load and all these things this will work in such a way that wherever the customer is there that part will be loaded instead of unnecessarily loading all the images they will load only few things right so once you take up business hosting and use less plugins and images also very less i recommend to use wp rocket that is a paid plugin guys wp rocket is a paid plugin around 49 dollars per year uh, if you use this what happened there is an option called browser catching browser catching what does it means customer came to my website orderbeautysupply.com when he is coming for the first time complete information about this website will be loaded over here okay so it take much time second time also he opened again this much of time is taking its waste so if you use that plugin what it will do it will store those information on your browser so next time when you type order beauty supply less than 2 seconds it will load it is good for you so this is really good for the returning customers you already came to my website second time also is opening because of that browser catching automatically if you know something about coding you can do your own but coding is not cup of tea for us that's the reason take this wp rocket plugin so if you take this uh your speed will be increasing so i'm going to mention the details about the godaddy hosting and this plugin in the description click on go there okay let me conclude uh, before going for a hosting you have a client a big client or else you planning to go for a bigger website i recommend as of now to go for godaddy that is to business hosting and the basic plan is enough where you will be getting a free ssl certificate and unlimited websites
unlimited websites you can host okay and whenever you're creating a website keep in mind uh, when you're taking images every image okay one more thing people do is they'll download images from the google okay if you have your own store uh, try to hire, hire a professional photographer product specialist photographer you will be available in, or else if you have a knowledge you can do it anyway so capture nice clicks and um, there are some websites where uh, like a tiny jpeg there is a website go there compress the website then only upload it so that your speed will be more see once you don't take care of all these things you trying to reduce the speed it's very hectic for you so initially only take care of all these things don't use too many plugins too many plugins uh, uh, when you go for a woocommerce too many plugins they'll be suggesting don't go for that i'm going to mention the important plugins go for that okay At the same time use wp rocket so for your website or for your client wp rocket by straightly 32 50 percent of the speed will be increasing because of this plugin because browser catching will be done with the help of wp rockets okay so this is guys about the hosting and uh, site ground once i take it i'll make a review on that as of now i stick to godaddy so in the next video i'm going to explain how to make a website so if you have any questions related to hosting just uh, put it in a comment so that i'll get back to you if you recommend any hosting also just put it in a comment i will look into that and uh, i'll get back to you thank you very much